breaking this bulletin. A 14th person said to have recovered from the coronavirus as announced earlier by the Ministry of Health and Social Services has denied these claims. This report went viral on social media as the patient, a nurse at a local hospital, said the results were apparently never communicated to her. Joining us in the studio to clear the light, the dust around the situation is Dr. Kalumbi Shangula, the Minister of Health and Social Services. A very good evening to you, sir, and thank you so much for joining us. Good evening. Yeah. Let's perhaps start off with what we mentioned in the intro there. Mm -hmm. Can you confirm whether the patient in question tested, tested positive for coronavirus or not? Yes. Um, the patient was uh, tested uh, on the 28th of March. Uh, in actual fact, there were two tests made, one at uh, Namibia Institute of Pathology locally and uh, another one um, at the laboratory, referral laboratory in South Africa. So on the 28th, the person tested positive. And uh, according to our chronology, it was referred to as case number 14. The test was uh, repeated on the 2nd of April, uh, both locally and in South Africa, and it came negative. The test was again rep uh, repeated on the 14th of April, but despite claims that uh, that the person was not tested this month? No, no, no. Uh, this month, uh, the person was tested actually three times on the 1st, the 14th, and then the 16th. So the test, the result for the 1st came negative, and the result for the 14th also came negative. But somehow, the, when the result of the 14 came out negative, the results of the 1st of April was overlooked somehow. It was not taken into consideration. And therefore, the, the person was informed about the results. But later on, after the results um, were given to her, then it was later on discovered that there were already a negative test on the 1st of April. But now the person was not informed that according to our protocol, if you test positive once and then the subsequent two results, they are negative, you are considered to have been cleared of the virus. Mm -hmm. But that, unfortunately, that information was not communicated to the person. Mm. So in other words, the person never had coronavirus? She had coronavirus because the first test, test, test positive. positive. Yes. Now, the patient also complained that uh, she was uh, informed about her status via telephone. Is this the, the modus operandi when it comes to informing yes. people about their results? You see, if somebody is uh, positive, we try to minimize any contact with the person, simply as a, pre a precautionary measure, uh, except when a, a specimen needs to be taken from the individual. But all other communication we normally do through telephone, whether it's counseling or whether it's conveyance of the result, is done remotely. Mm. The government has uh, been warning against the spread of fake and inaccurate information. Looking at this case, what lessons can we draw from this? Because once again, it has caused unwarranted uh, panic. And on top of that, we are, whenever you switch on international news networks, you are being bombarded with all these deaths in all these countries. Uh, just to answer that question and give us advice on what should we perhaps do? Because people are scared. Yeah. Well, I think in this case, there was not really uh, wrong information communicated to the person. The person, there is all the results were communicated to her. But what was not communicated is the fact that if you test twice negative, you are considered as having been recovered. And then that information was 
communicated to the public before it was communicated to her. So that is really the lesson which uh, we can say is an oversight. Uh, it's understandable that uh, the person who would not uh, take it uh, correctly, I mean um, lightly, and um, of course after that there has been a discussion with the person concerned, an apology was tendered to her, and she has accepted the apology. All right. Sangula, thank you so much for your time, and uh, all the best once again. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> to ask Dr. Sangula, the Minister of Health and Social Services, just clearing the light regarding the 14th person who recovered from the virus.